Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to a quiet episode of Go Williams Lake. Now this week we focus on things kids can do in the community, like reading, which I don't do often enough. But we all know TV is more engaging anyway, right? Like biking? Well, I've heard that our humble town is a mountain biking mecca, or something like that. But it makes sense because there are mountain biking trail signs littered all over the place. But the most telling of signs that this town is perfect for bikers alike is the fact that a recent fundraiser used the sport for its activity. I mean, where else does that happen? And go. It's called Shifting Gears and it was put on by the local Boys and Girls Club. The event has been going on for a few years now and it's been a great way to get the community involved. Monica thought it would be really awesome to do a fundraiser, you know, that would be inviting participation from youth and family, so it was kind of her idea to organize a mountain bike race, so. It's a great fundraiser, this, that gets local families active, all while helping out the community. It was awesome, the weather was great, it was totally well organized, and my kids loved it. Um, um, my mom, um, she um, told us about it, so we wanted to just go for a bike ride today, so. We are new to town, we just moved here in the summer, and um, I have three boys, and we like to keep active, and so we started doing mountain biking because there's so many mountain biking trails here, and then the Boys and Girls Club have just been doing so many activities that we've just been trying to do them as well. Our club has been around since 1994 in Williams Lake, and uh, it serves hundreds of kids in the community every year, everything from um, fishing to billiards, to guitars, to art. And then there's the Sprock Kids mountain biking program. It's been going on for about 13 years now and it's getting kids participating in the sport, which is a perfect fit for an active town like ours. Mountain biking was a really amazing way for kids to be able to be individual because everyone has their own bike, their own style, to learn mechanics, to learn, you know, uh, how, how much potential there is in the outdoors to challenge themselves on you know, being able to ride a really difficult trail and then at the same time to have the social camaraderie of going out with a bunch of you know, kids. $7,500 was raised during this year's fundraiser, all towards the club's after school programs. And the ride itself, well, that was just as valuable. Um, there were some jumps that I, I went off and it, I found that it was really bumpy, so that was fun. Well, I got passed quite a bit by young kids, and again, I just think it's so well organized and a lot of work has gone into it, and I just really appreciate that coming to a new town. It makes it really nice to be a part of a new town like that. With Go Williams Lake, I'm Jonathan Horst. Yes, yes, all right, I'm on Facebook. I'm addicted, what can I say? Now this week on Parenting 101, we focus on that period of time from when school ends to when work normally ends. It can be a tough time to fill and parents can end up sending their kids to daycare. There is, however, a free alternative, which is a great place for kids to be part of the community and have fun. Yeah! Every weekday that school is in session, the Youth for Christ building is open to kids ages 8 to 12 from 3 to 5 o'clock. It's a place for them to go while their parents Finish work. Um, this is a, a drop-in center, so there's there's no charge. Um, basically, kids come, spend time, play games, and uh, it's a great way to actually get to know the kids that are around this community. Okay, so there's more to it than that, because it's also a lot of fun. Um, they feel accepted here. They get to know kids from other schools as well that are in their community, um, and everyone gets along. And uh, I think that's the big thing, is there's, there's a good enough structure here that um, they feel safe. So I sew, um, I do, um, one of my paintings are splat paintings and um, I play air hockey sometimes. And hang out with Larissa. Um, my son loves to play the Nintendo and my daughter loves to do the crafts. The place is open to all kids who are welcome to spend time doing crafts playing games, and hanging out. Plus, there's some other programs in the works, too. 
Um, we're starting, I'm starting the cooking program Tuesdays and possibly exercise programs and each week we just cook a new product um, that I made up, I made up a menu and uh, just get, they get to learn the basics of cooking before they move out on their own. And the work-life balance is a hard thing to maintain, but there are places in town that really just want to help out. As a father as well, with two boys, I think the, the key is putting the time in. Um, it's, it's a million dollar question, but I think putting time into your kids, um, and when you don't have that ability to do that, to make sure that there are other people in their life that are positive, that can put that time in with them, when you can't. So I think that's a, that's a huge key to parenting and also what, what we do here. It's great, lots of fun games and activities and they get to meet new friends and people in our community and experience different things that they might not get to if they didn't come here. With Go Williams Light, I'm Jonathan Horst. After the break, we check out a new car club that recently held a swap meet and, oh yeah, they're about much more than just cars. There's a relatively new car club in town. Now what can I tell you about them? Well, they started off with a bang, doing quite a lot of things around the community. And what makes them unique is that they're about more than just cars. They're called Horsepower Hooligans, and they only started up just four months ago. And yet, they've done so much. We took, uh, my friend's son has muscular dystrophy. We put him in, in the cruise in May before the car show. That was the last step towards creating this club, I guess. So we took him in the cruise and then uh, we set him up. I built him a car for the Soapbox Derby that GM puts on every summer. And then they just held their first swap meet. It's a good little start, but there's more to it than that because this little meet raised money for muscular dystrophy. I said my friend's son, he's 11 years old, uh, Weston, he's, he has muscular dystrophy and uh, it's a lot easier to get behind a cause if it's not just a faceless charity. If you can put a face to it and put some, like a, if, if you can put people to the, the cause, it kind of really makes it a lot more personal and it makes it a lot, a lot easier to, to devote yourself to doing something like that. Muscular dystrophy has made Weston Becker's life more challenging. Usually pushing myself around in my house on the weekends and at school using my power chair. However, the group gave Becker the opportunity to get out of his wheelchair and into the soapbox derby. Just racing down the hill, it was just funner than usual. John Paul Albanetti made the car with Weston's father and help from the community. So, how did it perform? I didn't win any race, but I got this trophy for coolest car. We've had a lot of fun. We've uh, made a lot of friends, and we've uh, learned a lot about each other and ourselves, I guess. The group plans on holding this swap meet again next year, as well as partaking in many other events in the community. And their success is all because... Everybody is really good friends. Everybody gets along. Everybody is... Uh, common interests, common goals. Everybody gets together and we do things we enjoy and we do it as a group. With Go Williams Lake, I'm Jonathan Horst. Hi. Hi. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Go Williams Lake. Now remember, this is your show. It's about the fine people of this town. So if you have any story ideas or comments, feel free to communicate me with the various forms of communication there are with their various names. Oh, and guess what? I remember my witty sign-off this week. Mm -hmm. Remember, the
movie's always better than the book. Wait, I think it's the other way around.